Hey everyone, Kevin Richards here from Rock the Stage NYC here on YouTube uh, and rpmvocalstudio.com on the web for voice lessons worldwide. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you um, why lip rolls or lip bubbles are a good beginning, but they're not a basis to kind of do an entire technique on. And this is kind of my number one issue with speech level singing. Um, now, I'm not saying speech level singing does not work. I'm not going to be like... Um, Mr. Tamplin there will tell you why it doesn't work. It does work, but only to a certain degree. Um, if you want to have a big, strong, um, wide, deep, full-sounding voice, you have to go beyond lip rolls and kind of mum mum mums. You have to get rounder, wider, and more compressed. Now, the lip roll is good. Uh, I advocate lip rolls as a nice warm-up. <laughs> Very nice and light on the voice. They help balance out air pressure uh, because if you if you kind of lean into a lip roll, they kind of go too fast and they kind of stop. If you don't do enough air pressure on a lip roll, they fall apart. So you kind of have to get a very nice even airflow for a lip roll to work, especially to go through resonances. Um, very even. The problem is, is underneath that is this volume. Uh, let me give you a demonstrate, demonstrate um, F to F uh, here. It's not very strong. If I was training my voice with kind of just lip rolls all the time, uh, or the basis of the technique and the method was always with lot of lip rolls, or you're never going to build a really loud, strong voice that is good for singing live. Because even if you're just singing with, um, you know, bed tracks or pre-recorded tracks, or if you're singing with a band, you're not going to have enough power to sing on stage. Your voice is going to sound weak. And if you're playing with a band, the band is just going to eat you alive. All that sound is just going to eat your voice alive. Um, you have to graduate to something a bit with a bit more compression that you can kind of lean into more to get a bit more volume. And I think lip rolls are a great beginning and a great warm-up. But from lip rolls, you have to graduate then to humming. Um, so if I do the F to F here. Actually, F to G. Um, Okay, but it doesn't teach you how to kind of lean into your voice because you're always kind of at that volume level. If I do a hum though, I can get that sound up in the, the NG of the hum. I can get up into that area. The number one thing to do with a hum, to do correctly, don't let your teeth, don't let them touch. Keep them apart and close your mouth. Don't let your teeth touch. This pulls or draws the hum to the back part of the mouth. If you have the mouth, the teeth closed, it tends to resonate right here. With the teeth aren't touching, the resonance is more back here, which is what we want. The mouth is not closed. It can help if you put your tongue against your teeth. And remind you to keep them open. Uh, with a hum, you can now lean into it more. Now I'm getting to something. In terms of how I'm feeling the body and the voice compress, I'm getting closer to the type of compression I want to have when I sing live. Now I'm starting to get somewhere. I'm starting to sound like a live singer. I'm starting to gain some power. Hey, because a hum 
engages the diaphragm and the compression in the lower torso more so than a lip bubble. That's more chest compression. That's, you're kind of breathing from here in the upper part of the chest. Intercostal breathing. You're kind of just upper chest breathing. It's not going to give you power. The hum drops the compression or the support to the core, the area here, right here. I feel really hardly any compression here. I do a hum though. And you can see my, my stomach engaging here. Now I'm getting somewhere. That's why the hum is better for you than a lip bubble. Once you get really easy or, or lip bubbles become a little too easy for you, um, it's not about extending the exercise to higher ranges. It's about getting to engage the voice more. So graduate from a lip bubble. If you're a speech level person and you're doing a lot of lip bubble exercises, substitute a hum for the lip bubble and see how much more volume you get out of your voice and how much stronger you get it. There's a little bit of tweaking that has to go on because the hum is slightly different because you're compressing more. But um, if you're having trouble sort of getting any power because you've been doing a kind of speech level uh, program or this is what your teacher now tells you to do, substitute a lip bubble with a hum. Uh, again, don't let the teeth touch. Mm, take your tongue between them. Mm. What this does is it engages what's called the NG sound. The, uh, it's really hard to break your voice to pop uh, if you're compressed in the uh, NG sound. Hum with the, the tongue between the teeth and the lips close. Initiates that NG type of sound, and you won't break as much. Or it'll be easier for you to navigate the range without cracking. Or mm -hmm. you might still, but it'll be it'll take you far less time to work that out than you would if you're going that. You're never getting any power with lip rolls. Um, graduate to a hum. Substitute it with a hum, and then open that hum. Your voice resonate out. So I hope this helps you if you're uh, someone who's been doing speech level and you're hardly getting, having a time uh, getting sort of any power or getting your vocal break um, erased by doing a lot of lip bubble exercises or stuff. Substitute a hum and then open that hum. Till next time, Kevin Richards. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Please share this video wherever you like. Ask questions below. More than happy to answer them. Uh, unlike most coaches here on YouTube that don't answer their questions or comments with anything substantive anyway. Um, share this video, please. Uh, subscribe um, to the channel. Check out the links below here for uh, links to taking lessons with me via Skype or here in New York City. Uh, buying my vocal courses, things like that. And there's playlists on there where you can find other stuff to uh, my other videos. Till next time, Kevin Richards. See ya.